Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm definitely having a great day. Got a new snake. Uh, picked up a new snake today as you can see from the box. We got another snake from Rice Reptiles. This is my fourth snake from them and every snake that I've gotten from them has been perfect. No issues, no bugs, nothing. Just a really, really high quality, beautiful snake, bright colors. They work with Canova and Justin and uh, just from that, you know, it's gotta be, it's gotta be legit. If uh, Canova is gonna put their approval off on to a different company um, as a person that they work with, you know, ye, we already know it's gonna be good, some good stuff. So uh, this snake is crazy. So never seen really anything like it. A lot of colors are doing a lot together and we're gonna show her really fast. And we're gonna feed the green anaconda a meal. Nothing gigantic, I need to get bigger meals for her. But as of right now, uh, it's just kind of like a snack, but she needs to eat. So until I can get her some really good meals on the, uh, some bigger meals, rabbits, guinea pigs, stuff like that, she's gonna be eating extra large to jumbo rats. So this girl right here is uh, a visual clown. I've been trying, uh, since I bought a lot of snakes this year, I've been trying to buy high quality, High quality snakes, snakes that are um, going to be high value in the future, ones that I like to look at, hopefully you guys like to look at them too. I have no heads at all in the collection, which we'll find out if that's good or bad uh, when the time comes to try and breed. But I have been trying to breed a couple females and so far I've seen no locks on that. So I'm keeping the males with the females as much as I can, taking them out when uh, they need to eat, etc. But so far I've not seen any locks, but I work and I'm gone 12-ish hours a day. So I'm hoping they're just locking when I'm at work, which I don't know how that's working out, but so far I have no visuals on that. So it kind of sucks. I see some people tossing snakes in there and literally like 10 minutes afterward, bam, they're locking up. And there's some, some people are having locks for, you know, 24 hours, which is crazy. I've got nothing. But anyways, back to this snake. Really want to show you guys the intensity on this animal. So it's a visual clown. It has black pastel, enchi, and yellow belly. So black pastel in clown is a very dark colored snake. And I think enchi's really bringing out the brightness. You can tell it's kind of, it's, it's a bright snake, but it still kind of has some dullness to it. So I think the black pastel, the enchi, Possibly some of the yellow belly is going on and kind of combating some of these colors. So look at the belly on this snake. Just really, really gorgeous. Really cool colorations on the belly. Awesome track markings. And just a really, really, really unique snake. In my eyes, it's unique. Hopefully you guys like this snake. So another visual clown. A female. Another female. And I would love in the future to put either the spot nose vanilla clown or the chocolate leopard clown. So make this even darker with chocolate, add some leopard into it. Who knows how the future will end up after that. But again, just a gorgeous snake. Can't wait to, I really can't wait to see her age and see how these colors are gonna, you know, the combos together are really gonna play, to, play off together with the darkness of the black pastel and the enchi and uh, maybe some of that yellow belly would pass on through uh, for maybe some offspring. But again, two years minimum, and uh, I think in two to three years on a breeding project with her. I got a ton of females, and a lot, I got quite a few males on the clown side. I keep saying I need two males, two pied males, and here I am buying another female clown, which is crazy, so. I just, I just could not um, pass up this deal. And at the time, uh, Rice Reptiles was doing the 30% off. So if the company's, you know, doing the 35%, or sorry, 30, 30% off, 30% off, you gotta, you gotta snag one, <laughs> especially when it's at this caliber of jeans and uh, with the price tag that it was with the percentage off, boom. I had to capitalize on it. So, like I said, it's the fourth one that I've gotten from them. I've gotten two chocolates with a bunch of stuff in them. And I got a female Batman that could have red stripe in that as well. But it's just some really good quality stuff. And uh, so we've seen her. 
She's gorgeous. If you want to see a lot more pictures of her, check out the Instagram. Uh, it's Ben Cincy Snakes, and we're probably going to see her quite often as well on the channel with all of the other ball pythons that I have just gotten. Somebody did ask me if I'm done with boas. I'm not done with boas. I still have them. I haven't sold any of them, and they're all still alive. They're here. They're in PVC enclosures. Um, if you guys want to see more of them, I can show them to you. They're big. Uh, they're kind of hard to get on camera, but I can do my best to show you guys. And I, a lot of, I know a lot of you guys do like the boas, but I'm not done with them. Um, I just don't know if I really want to get into the breeding aspect of that because it's very risky. Um, you have a lot of slugs. The moms can die. It's just, it just can get messy, and they're kind of expensive. So, I mean, the reward is there. Don't get me wrong. If you can breed successfully on boas, you can make a lot of money. But it's not just about that. It, it's For me, it's, I don't want the ones that I've put time and money into dying just because I want to get the kind of money. And I've never bred them, and I've never bred at all. So I think I just need to stick with the ball pythons and, uh, you know, start slow. And... I don't, I mean, it makes me nervous to even try to breed the ball pythons because everybody does it. <laughs> so I'm just another fish jumping into this huge ocean full of a billion bull python breeders. And I'm, my biggest fear is not that it's bad, but financially it'd be bad, is getting stuck with everything. You breed them, you can't sell them, you can't move them. Obviously, I would have all visual pies and all visual clowns because I don't have hats for anything, which is fine. But I already have a high feeding bill as is, weekly, monthly. I don't need that to triple and go broke. And then I'd have to sell stuff, or I can't sell stuff, and I have to um, wholesale stuff, which is not bad either. But I'm ranting. <laughs> I apologize. So this girl is gorgeous. Um, and I might do a segment on, you know, the, the snakes that I bought from specific breeders. So the, all the stuff that I got from John Chosmer, high quality. Um, Canova, quality. Rice, quality. And uh, just a few other in-between uh, little breeders that I bought from here and there. But let's check out this green anaconda. Okay, so I've basically been feeding Pop-Tart right here. Um, right around two pound guinea pigs, two pound rabbits, but I haven't been able to get any of those lately. So this little extra large rat really is not going to do very much for her on the scale of being full. But she still needs to eat. It looks like she's very hungry. She's super sweet, super nice, super docile. But I do not want to get in her way of anything food related. But, uh... Like I said, this is just kind of like a snack for her. Bad lighting, I apologize. This is just kind of where she is at, at the moment. And uh, we'll see if, she, there she goes. Likes to eat. Beautiful. So, she's almost, I'd say she's almost eight pounds. I'd say 15, I mean, sorry, it's eight feet. Almost 15 pounds around that. And I took her water dish out because she always poops in it. And she always pees in it every single day. But she is a beautiful snake. And so it's my third anaconda, for those that don't know. Of two females and a male. This is my biggest female. I take her out all the time. Lots of pictures with her. I try to show her as much as I can on the uh, on the channel. If you guys are interested in seeing anacondas. But she's just a great ambassador for being a big snake. And uh, she's super friendly. But like I said, I would not want to get in the way of her and her food at all she's super strong pure muscle and even at her size she could definitely do some damage not kill you but she could hurt you for sure so we'll just let her eat uh in peace hopefully you guys liked seeing her on that strike and hopefully you guys like that new addition on the uh, ball python so if there's anything else that you guys really want to see let me know and she does need a cage clean full cage clean i do use regular wood chippings in here from Lowe's Cypress mulch uh, like five bucks a bag instead of putting eighty dollars worth of refuge chip in here <laughs> but she's hungry and I really don't want to disturb her at all so that is it see you guys on the next video